All right, boys, so I'm coming at you with a new Warlock build. This time around, we're gonna try to spam the Pocket Singularity, the new Warlock melee. This is going to be very similar to my Titan Infinite Shield Throw melee build. Um, I just really just wanna spam the melee attack because I think it's really cool, it's really fun, it looks awesome, and it actually puts Volatile on enemies. So let's go ahead and jump right into this build. So for this build, I'm going to use Child of the Old Gods and Feed the Void. Feed the Void is really important for this build because this is going to allow me to proc Devour upon getting Void ability final blows, and it's going to increase my survivability while giving me grenade energy in return. For our fragments, we are using Echo of Remnants, Echo of Persistence, Echo of Undermining, and Echo of Provisions. We are again using Monte Carlo for this build. This is a melee build, so this is the perfect exotic weapon for that because it just synergizes so well with any type of melee build. The way the traits work, you know, you do damage with the weapon, you generate ability energy, you have a chance to refill your melee ability upon getting final blows, and if you land a melee attack final blow, you refill the magazine and proc March out chain times five, which I looked it up, it's about 65% extra weapon damage on Monte Carlo. I also have 100 recovery, 100 Discipline, and I'm using Claws of Ahamkara as my exotic armor piece of choice. Now this is a really great exotic, especially paired with Monte Carlo, because Claws of Ahamkara gives you a double melee charge, and Monte Carlo gives you melee ability energy, so you can already see the synergy between these two exotics. Now moving on to the mods, I am using Hands On, Seeking Wells, Focusing Strike, Elemental Ordinance, Heavy Handed, Reaping Wellmaker, Double Outreach, and elemental charge. I also would like to note that you can swap out elemental ordinance for melee well maker if you would like. The gameplay loop is all about getting my melee back as much as possible, picking up these void elemental wells that I'm going to be spawning from elemental ordinance and reaping well maker will allow me to become charged with light which will then allow me to proc heavy handed which will grant me half my melee ability in return when I use my melee attack. Doing damage with my melee attack will proc focusing strike which gives me some rift energy in return and if I get the kill with the melee attack I proc hands on which gives me bonus super energy for those melee kills. So this seems like a lot of mods and it seems kind of complicated but it's really not. You just want to play your warlock as you would but you want to put a little bit more emphasis on the melee attack because you're going to have so many of them. Now I highly recommend trying this build out. I see a lot of void walkers really prioritizing the grenade which is fine. I mean that is definitely very very potent and it's really strong and of course why wouldn't you i mean you can proc devour devour gives you your grenade energy in return for getting kills so like why wouldn't you just focus on using your grenade but the pocket singularity melee can be really fun and really useful you can just keep debuffing enemies with volatile making them explode and again you're also going to proc uh, devour so then you're also going to get grenade energy for just getting kills anyway so it's just a different play style instead of using your grenades which you're going to have a lot of them anyway you're going to use your melee attack more because of Monte Carlo and Klaus of Ahamkara. So it's just a little bit different, but still just as effective in my opinion. So definitely give this build a try if you've been one of those warlocks that really focuses grenade. You might enjoy yourself and you might even like it better. Who knows? But if you like this content, definitely hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment down below. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos like this in the future, so definitely stay on the lookout for that. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Deuces!